So I'm heading back to the house and I'm heading to work. And um, if I get something else on camera, I might sit back here tonight. I just had another shot literally straight out in front of me. So, this is Nicholas's eight point opening day. We have Brad's eight point opening day, Brad's seven point, big mature deer. Dwarfs the rest of them. And then my Uncle Chuck's seven point, which is actually a lot wider than that, but the skull plate's busted. And then the meat. Three big fat does. So keep stacking them up. Pretty morning. Yeah, I just got into the eight point last night in the food plot. Um, the last picture of him was at like five o'clock this morning. I had about nine does in here yesterday. Right when I got out, I got out to the truck and got a pick on my camera and uh, there was nine does back here um, a three point and then that eight point showed up so they're finally they're finally starting to eat the the last cut of alf alfalfa that I had back here so I just had that buck come in at the very top right there going to the east and then I just had three jer three does come come down right here, coming right to me. But I just also had that uh, she snuck up on me. Yeah. Hi. Who caught me a stick over there? Those mine. Can you guys imagine? I watched those mine. Walked right up the two track, right at the fort, right at the corner, like just to the property. Right over the fence, right onto their property, and away he went. <laughs> you know what? If I was uh, I bet you nobody's seen a Bigfoot make, make breakfast before. That's what. Yeah, that's What's the shirt say? Stay wild. Stay wild! What you doing, Doc? Uh, definitely entertained. Ready. You ready? Hey Brimley, that orange shirt is supposed to be on the outside. Alright, right, well, we just left the bar. Um, it's our, uh, pretty much our meeting point. So we're going to be heading in, we're going to go do a deer drive. Um, something I haven't really, never actually shown on the deer camp episode, but it's something we do. 
It's usually Thanksgiving morning or the Saturday after Thanksgiving. We get together, put a game plan together, and push a block. Usually wait till about midday when other hunters are out of the woods uh, or, you know, also when the deer are bedded down too. So uh, we got about, I think, 12, 12 people. So we're gonna do this push and uh, hopefully get some stuff on film for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Jeremy still got to show up. He should be here as soon as that. Take a standard with him. Nice. All the way down the fence line. That's how it works. Or it's from my dad's boots. It could be. I'm a stand right where I was. That's seven pushers right there. No, it's not. I think you said we're going to start. Are you? Basically, this is the line right here. Just yeah. grab this old gravel pit. Yeah. So so where you want me to drop the pushers off right here. You got high fence. This is all high fence. Okay. This hole's in it. So we're gonna put people all the way around this. Big hole the fence. And the walkers are gonna start here. And no, I'm just east. Push it right around. You gonna you and I gonna go where they were sitting and have my dad sit on the corner then? Yeah, your dad's gonna sit where you sat last year. And then we're gonna go in. And then we're gonna go where I'm in town. Okay. Travis there is there. We got a hunter over here. I'm gonna push up that way. So, as soon as we get the green light. All right, here we go. Some deer tracks right here. Hunter's right over there. Of course they picked the biggest ridge for me to walk up. Slippery. See where's the hunter? There's the hunter. Just watching out there. Let Travis catch up. Hunter's down here. Walk over to the next knob. Feeling my youth today. Feeling my age today, that youth, the lack thereof, I guess. Travis is coming out from over here somewhere, so I'm gonna make sure he's caught up. It's really thick on top of there, so anything that he jumps out could end up running out into this ravine. Hunter's right there. There was one bedded right up on that hill, Hunter. I hit it. I got blood, Trav. What's that? What do you think, Bob? Me, I shot twice. Which way were they? He was laying up on that ridge. He went that way. I got blood. Travis just said, "Keep going with the drive." So, but then someone else shot down here. Oh, 
I wonder if I should go back in there. Yeah, it's up to you. I have, you, you three are the only ones I've seen. I haven't seen anybody come over on our wrenches yet. Alright. Yeah. I had blood. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, did he? Yeah. Okay, well. No shit. How big was it? I don't know. I thought it was a buck. He was bedded up on that ridge over there. Hunter was down low, couldn't see him yet. Who first? Huh? Who shot first? Me. Baldy. No. He's got a little... Bald. Nope, oh, little one. Yeah. Right there. That's a doe. That's a doe. Yeah, can't put, a, can't put an antler tag on him. I'm going to run down here and uh, probably cut back in. Behind people? Well, almost walked north because everyone was pretty much already out of Jake. Oh, really? Yeah. Man, we should have kicked more than that out. I know. Yeah, that was the only one I saw up there laying. Look how wide they are. Yeah. Look at that. That's an old buck. That's a wonder, really. Did he break him off or is he just. This one, I don't know. That old that he. No, can't... they're broke, dude. Yeah, they're, that's they're what broke. I'm saying. Both sides. That Look one's it. broke. There. That's broke. Look at Broke. Yeah. Number is brow tines. Broke right off. That's messed up. He's long. Yeah, I had another one. He stopped at the top of the hill up here, and I was like, all right. And I could see his neck through the stuff, and I just put it on there. Take them all out right now. Yeah, I'll take one. Charlie and Jake are sitting over here. Those fucking deer. Those look like white chocolate chip macadamia. Those are my cookies. Yeah, yeah. cookies? Yeah. Trav, get you some of that. Yeah, that's, that's antlerless. That's a clear shot. Why is he? Oh, damn it. Huh? Oh, was he? Like yeah. a horse. Because then they came. No, seriously, Hunter and uh, Travis were right up with me. I kind of stayed with them. I was looking both ways. Dude, I didn't have my gun set up. All right. Getting ready for push number two. I'm walking back right now. I'm going to get on the corner of this field. Get set up. All right, so I'm set up right here. Them guys are gonna come from that way. They're pushing this way. So half of this is gonna be me sitting. And then once they start coming up here and I can see them, that's when I'm gonna start making my push as well. So it's gonna kinda almost like leapfrog. Once they catch up to me, then I, then I become a pusher. So but I got this whole ridge vein right here out in front of me. And then I got this one back here. Wind's almost kind of cross face. It's coming this way, so anything that gets over there is going to get my wind, anyways. But I'm just looking out for deer coming off this ridge, working their way through there, or making that circle to come back up into here. Oh, there's the elk. Nice bowl. She got my wind. It's not a bad little bowl. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, a couple more weeks we'll be after you. All right, well, I just got out of the woods. My camera battery ended up dying um heard two shots i saw one but it uh was literally just crusting over a hill and went down the back side i couldn't get a shot it wouldn't have been a safe shot anyways so um just didn't uh just didn't take the shot anyways um i'm gonna go down here i'm gonna see who uh who shot and if we need help getting anything out we push that block pretty good so i don't know we'll see find it on um, I saw one. I shot it one. What's that? There's a doe back there in the corner. Is it really? How the hell did I get through all of them? I don't know. It's... No, it's dead. It's... Oh, it's dead? Never mind. Oh. She said there was a deer there. We get hit or something? Or is... Yeah, it's on the very side. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah. Heard one shot down here. I don't know if it was Chuck, and then I heard one back here, so it was one of the pushers. Oh, right on. So I got out and, uh... Got to ride back to the truck here, so I'm going to go around and see who needs help or ride back to the truck or whatever. Right on.
done. Well, I gotta get her to her deer stand, so. All right. But See ya. The group message to keep it up with us. All right. I gotta go to Thanksgiving dinner. So what are you gonna do? I get, I forgot to grab the baked mac and cheese to put in the oven. Oh, all so right. I'm for sure, get that or put it in the oven at camp. Well, there's another shot back in there. Uncle or Jake got one. Oh, he did. Jake got a doe. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. I saw one. It came over the hill. I think that might have been the one that you shot at. Yeah, Jake. Jake's for sure. He thought he. He knows for a fact he hit it. So. Okay. Hopefully you get back in there, but it can't, you can't take any vehicles in there, so it's going to be, you know, it's going to ruin their yeah. for the night, so. All right, well, I got to get going to Thanksgiving dinner. Did you want my sled? Nope, I got one. You got one, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, bub. Well, uh, we'll see you at camp. We'll see you. Camp, right? Yeah, I'll be at camp after dinner. Bye. All right. All right, well, that's a wrap. Um, nothing too exciting. Got two, though. Uh fire some rounds and now I'm gonna go to Thanksgiving dinner so see you guys at camp tonight now I got about 45 minutes left to shooting light so I pretty much just ran out of the truck and got the closest field close to where we're having Thanksgiving so right now I just got my camera on my shooting stick the shooting stick stuck in the ground there's a few does in here um, they used to plant this field but I got all the way back here and it don't look like it's been planted it is what it is it's a lot better than sitting at the cabin waiting for food to be done so the little man got his choice and he went with my dad tonight. So, feel bad for a doe that comes out tonight, though.
get to pass for me today. He's got a pretty sweet looking brow tie on his right side. <coughs> Not the one we're after. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to go this way. Alright, I'm going to shut her down. Yes! My camera wouldn't stay. Every time I get the camera out, the arm would swing over. I just dumped him right there. Yes, that's the buck I came here for. I tried getting the camera on to him. I don't even care. Yes, November 25th, one year to the day of my brother's accident. Tell me that's not a sign right there. Yes. We're up there, Bobo. Bam! <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. Tagged out in Michigan. November 25th. <sighs> that could not be sweeter. There he is. Yes. A oh, stud. That's him. Yes. What? Look at that freaking brute. 
He's a brute. <laughs> yes. Are you kidding me? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at the head on that thing. That's a four-year-old buck. All day long, four-year-old buck. What a freaking brute. Yes! That's so cool. All that beam right there. His head is freaking huge. Big old fat snout on him. I knew for a fact this blind would pay off. If I didn't hunt it too hard, stayed patient, hunted the wind, this blind would pay off. That's the third time I've ever sat in that blind in two years. Yeah, baby. There are absolutely no words that can describe this hunt. The way my season's gone, I'll start start back in uh, when we were in Ohio. I missed the biggest buck of my life at 20 yards of the boat. Um, that hurt, hurt bad. And then come back to Michigan the third day of gun season. Um, another absolute stud of a buck walks into a hundred yards broadside, picture perfect. And uh, <clears throat> there was a little tiny droplet of water that got in behind my trigger and froze. Absolutely nothing I could do, you know. So two of the biggest bucks that I ever killed in my life, one for sure the biggest buck, and the, the one here in Michigan probably, probably still the biggest buck that I've ever killed, would have ever killed. Um, so this, now, you know, I, I punched one tag a few days ago, and uh, then to come in here and shoot this buck, on the exact day that my brother passed away last year. It's just crazy. It's insane. I don't even, I don't even know how it's possible, but in an absolute stud of a Michigan public land, Northern Michigan public land buck. Four year old buck all day long, no doubt in my mind. He's actually bigger than, than what I anticipated he was. can't even tell you how good it feels. The ups and downs of this season have been, been more than ever, you know. Had some awesome encounters this season and just seemed like everything, anything that could go wrong, went wrong. So this deer right here fixes it all. absolutely completes my season. Northern Michigan, public land, four-year-old buck. Big old horse head on him. Yes. Yes. The pressure's on. Find a spot way back in the middle of nowhere that you can get into without the deer knowing that you're in there you know without being detected on the way in it'll pay off it's work but it will pay off this is proof of it right here I'm gonna get this big dog out of here It'll be a better part of the day getting him back to the truck so I better get started
one thing I never do enough of. I thought about it. Getting this buck out of here. Um, giving the credit to the people around me. They deserve it. Um, that's what I'm going to do now. First of all, Alvin and all the Michigan Gone Wild guys, we all kind of work together and do anything we can for one another to make sure we're all successful. But Alvin especially, he does awesome uh, video editing, puts a ton of time into putting the videos up for you guys. Way more work into that than, than what goes noticed. So, huge shout out to him. Um, you guys wouldn't be watching these videos if it wasn't for him. So, second of all, my wife at home, I wouldn't be able to do any of this if it wasn't for her. My wife and kids, really, um, both. Sometimes I ask myself if it's worth, you know, all the things that I miss out on with my wife and kids. You know, I miss school events and this and that, to be out in the woods. and. Definitely feel guilty about it at times, and uh, I still, you know, don't know if it's actually worth it. Either. It's probably a day I'll, I'll regret not taking time off from the woods to, to go spend more time with my wife and kids, you know. Um, but yeah, it, it wouldn't even be possible to do what I do without without my wife at home to watch the kids and take care of my hounds at home and keep everything tied down at home while I'm out here playing. So, huge shout out to her. Um, also, last but not least, my dad. He, uh, he taught me a lot of what I know, you know, from setting me up in his tree stand with him when I was just four or five years old. You know, I remember my first hunts with my dad when I was just barely old enough to walk. He'd set me up on the platform of his tree stand and go bow hunting. Um, so he's really the one that got me introduced to all this and taught me a lot of what I know. And if it wasn't for him, I definitely wouldn't be where I was at. So I just wanted to take a minute and thank those people. And there's, there's tons more, you know, all the people around me are nothing but encouraging and everybody has a hand in this. So, thanks to all of you, thanks to you guys watching. I'm gonna get finished up with the home stretch here to the truck and get back to camp. Stand up. I 
nice and slow. Sit still. He's looking at us again. Sit still. Brat, brat. Dad, get him good. Dad, get him. Think so. Dad. I just shot a tear. I just shot a bug. Oh my ears. I just shot a duck. I just saw a duck. see both sides. He's a three point. No. Like, are you sure he's dead? Yeah, he's dead, Lex. Did I just get down? Yeah. What do you think? I think, I think I did a good job. He's fat. Yes. He Your first buck that wasn't in the youth hunt. Yeah. Regular season buck. Just like the big boys. You're all tagged out, though. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Tagged out. It's nothing to be sad about. I know. Are we going to take them to deer camp or the house? Whatever you want to do with them. I'm proud of you. Thank you. You did a nice job. Yeah, this is just the bad shot side. Well, that's where it came out. Yeah, that's why it's bad. I bet you the other side, if we flip them over, is right, be, right in the armpit. You sure? Let's look. Did oh, the trick. This is my best year, probably. Well, All right, camera's going to die. We're going to have to get him. What? Get him out of here. I said the camera's going to die. You want to oh. say anything? Um, I did a good job. Get out there. Nice job, Lex. I got him, boy! 
I got him. Oh, he's way bigger than I thought. Oh, man. Is it him? It's him. It's him. It's him. It's him.